Have you ever wondered how to create tweets like this on autopilot using your own AI agent? Well, then this is the video for you. The XBot AI agent task within youraiagent.com just got a major upgrade. And we're going to walk you through all the steps to get you connected today. Let's get into it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com, enter your name, an email address, password, re-enter the password, and then click sign up. It will drop you on the settings page. We integrate with a variety of platforms, but for this video, we are creating an XBot. So we are going to click X, then we're gonna to need to name our integration within youraiagent.com. I'm gonna call it Wes GPT. And now we need a client ID. And for that, we're gonna hop on over to our Twitter developer console to grab that key. Here I am on the developer portal and under projects and apps, I'm gonna create a new project. I name this XBot. Then I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna click add app, call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it West GPT XBot, click next. We don't need any of these keys and tokens. We actually need something else. So I'm gonna to go to app settings. Then first scroll down, go to user authentication setup. For the app permissions, we need read and write and direct messages. For the type of app, let's click native app. And then for the callback URI or redirect URL, I'm gonna go back into my Your AI Agent settings and I have it right here. So just copy this hyperlink and then paste it in, then paste in a website URL. It can be the same thing, no biggie. Scroll down and click save. Then it gives you a client ID. This is what we need. I'm gonna click copy, paste it into this input box right here and then click connect. It takes me to the X OAuth consent screen. I'm gonna click authorize app. And then after loading for a few seconds, we're gonna get this notification that says your X account has been connected. So I can click okay. It now shows down here in my list of connections. I can rename this connection or I can remove it altogether. And if I go to my Twitter profile, I see 31 seconds ago, this is a test tweet through the X API. This is our first tweet to show that our connection was a success. Okay, next I'm gonna to go to API keys and we connect with multiple large language models and image generators. So that means we can connect OpenAI, that's GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, and the new GPT-4O or Omni. Gemini, which would be Gemini 1.0 Pro and Gemini 1.5 Pro, and then Claude, we connect with Claude 3 Opus and Claude 3 Sunnet. We also connect to OpenAI's Assistance API. If you have an OpenAI Assistant, you can use that for the XBot. We also give you the option to completely disable all of our prompting. So you can do everything manual with an Assistant API, pretty much bypass everything and just use our connections and our workload units to run your XBot. My favorite model is GPT-4.0. So to get that secret key, I'm gonna click on this hyperlink. It takes me to platform.openai.com. I'm gonna scroll down, click create new secret key, call this key XBot, click create secret key, copy this key, go back into settings and then paste it in. Next, I'll click on subscription and then subscribe. It will take me to a secured Stripe checkout page your AI agent is $9 per month. That gives you unlimited workflows, unlimited AI agent tasks, unlimited connections. You can connect multiple Twitter accounts, run multiple tweeting workflows, and this is all covered under the basic plan. Okay, now for the fun stuff. Your AI agent currently has six different AI tasks. We can create an agent for each of these. If you're curious about what these other ones do, I have many other videos on this YouTube channel. Click on the Your AI Agent playlist. But for this one, we are setting up an XBot. So I'm gonna click on this task. The entire task page just got a rework and we're starting with the XBot first. So hopefully this is a lot easier to understand. 
it's a lot easier to add new features. I can just add new groups right below it. And I also added some AI agent info. Let's go over what it does. So the Xbot randomly selects a topic and tone from your list and then writes a tweet using that combination. For example, a topic of basketball and a tone of witty may craft a tweet that says basketball where running in circles actually gets you somewhere. I'm going to click to read more. Hashtags and URLs are optional and are also randomly selected. A max of three hashtags and one URL will appear on the tweet. If it goes over the character limit, hashtags and URLs will be removed until it works. And through various testing, various support emails, through all the users that have been using this tool, I've collected various tips and tricks. So first off, text model GPT-40 seems to work the best. I've tested with all the other models and it does work. But for the most consistent results, I like this model. Less is more. Posting less often will ensure your account doesn't get shadow banned. With all types of botting, we don't want to be spamming people's accounts. That gets us noticed. That might get us flagged. That might get us reported. More tones, topics, and hashtags will give you more variations of tweets. With 20 tones and 20 topics, that gives you 20 times 20, 400 different combinations of tweets. Remember, all of this is randomized in the back end. And the language models that we use are non-deterministic, meaning if it was even to land on the same combination, let's use that basketball and witty combination again, it would create a different tweet each time. And then couple that in with all the hashtags that you put in, we randomize the order of those hashtags and which ones are used. So the possibilities here are infinite. You could really set up an Xbot once and then forget about it and it will tweet forever for you. This is something I learned recently. You can include at username in the hashtag list and that calls out other Twitter profiles. So instead of using a hashtag, you could also input some users, tag them in your tweets and hopefully that gives you more exposure. We'll talk about this in a bit, but I recommend using a link shortener on your URLs to stay under the character limit. If you have a URL that's 200 characters, you're probably not going to be able to post the tweet. Twitter's API only allows us 280 characters as a limit. So we have to stay under that in order for it to work. And then there's a random toggle next to the URLs that will randomize whether a URL will appear in the tweet or not. Again, I will talk about that in a second. I'm gonna collapse this. Okay, first we need to choose our model and our language. So for the text model, I'm gonna choose GPT-4 Omni. For the language, let's keep it on English. Next, we have the posting interval. How often do we want our Xbot to post? So by default, I have random selected. That will randomize a posting time between one and 24 hours for each tweet. For example, a tweeting schedule may look like this. It posts at 3 p.m. and then 7 p.m. and then 10 a.m. the next day and then 5 p.m. and then 5 p.m. the next day. Completely random, doesn't look spammy, doesn't look like a bot. If you want a more controlled posting schedule, you can deselect this. That will open up the interval and you can do every one hour around the clock. Next is the tone picker. We can write in as many tones as we want. I give you a few examples here. Let's say a witty tone, professional, sarcastic, fun, empathetic. Really create a personality for your bot. Then we have the topics. Again, no limit to the amount of topics that you can input into this box. Let's say my Xbot or my business is all about plants. I'm going to do indoor plant care, edible plants, sustainable gardening, gardening on a budget, rare flower species, plant propagation. I could go on and on and on, list hundreds of topics. Next is the hashtag section. So I can do this manually if I've done my hashtag research or I can select automatic hashtags and that will let the AI look at the tweet it has crafted and then write three relevant hashtags related to that tweet. 
I like the idea of everything being on autopilot. So I'm going to enable this feature. Next is URL and links. If I want a URL back to my website or to a blog post or whatever, I can include a URL in the tweet. I have a long link to a Shopify product page. We sell some plant seeds and I wanna input that link into some of my tweets. So it's really long as it is. Look how long it is. That would go over the character limit. So I wanna use a URL shortener. And you can use any URL shortener on the web, but this is a very simple way to do it. Just click post on your Twitter profile, paste in the link, post it, right click the new tweet, go copy link address, and then paste it in. By default, Twitter has a URL shortener built into its platform. So I just like to use that. And it makes links t.co and then a random slug. Then I can go and quickly delete my tweet so none of my followers see it. Or use other free URL shorteners like this one, shorturl.at, or more popular ones like tinyurl.com. I've been debating whether or not to build in a URL shortener right into the youraiagent.com platform. I'm gonna avoid it for now, but let me know in the comments if this is something that will really save you some time. I can also input multiple URLs and the XBot will randomly choose which one to show in each of the tweets. So the last option to enable or disable is random. This random toggle within URLs and links randomizes whether a URL will appear in the tweet or not. If this is enabled in the back end, we will randomize yes or no. If the answer is yes, it will drop a link in the tweet. If the answer is no, there will be no link. Use this just in case you don't want a link in every single tweet that you post. Again, that may make your profile look spammy if there are URLs everywhere. So this ensures that sometimes there will be URLs, sometimes there won't be. It might go four tweets in a row without a URL and then three tweets in a row where there is one. I think with bots, randomizing is always better. Okay, with all that done, I can now click Start XBot and it will take us to the workflows page. So on this page, we see all of my running workflows. I can rename my workflow. I can cancel it at any time. We see our posting interval. I can click on the info button to edit the active running workflow. And we have this brand new pop-up design where I can choose a different text model, change the language, change any of my settings here, add some more tones, remove topics, add some more topics. Because we had automatic hashtags enabled, these are the three hashtags that the AI agent came up with based on the tweet. It generated gardening on a budget, sustainable living, and DIY planters. Scrolling down in this section right here, I can see our past tweet when the next tweet is scheduled to run and if there are any error logs. We see that all systems are operational and our past tweet has a link that we can click right here. The tweet says gardening on a budget necessitates creativity in sourcing materials, such as repurposing household items for planters and utilizing compost from kitchen scraps while still fostering a thriving and sustainable garden. We have one of our three hashtags that is telling me that all three hashtags plus the link went over the API character limit. So the agent is smart enough to keep removing hashtags until it works. So kept the first one, gardening on a budget, I love it. And then there's a link to my Shopify product page to sell plant seeds. If you want to try creating an XBot for yourself, a link to youraiagent.com is going to be in the description below. If you want to learn how to manually build XBots within a platform like bubble.io, which is what I use for youraiagent.com, I designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I will also leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.